Ascension by Wolfgang. And I'm Wolfgang. So in the following guided meditation, to help all suffering from the war in the Ukraine and the earthquake in Turkey and Syria, we will send help and healing. Of course, if you want and if needed, this intent of this guided meditation can be applied to any war zone or earthquake zone, you know, as needed. Also, at the same time, we asked for the liberation and healing of our own aspects and that of our ancestors. The aspects that are still suffering on the astral plane and earthquake trauma. But um, first, some words about my perspective uh, that may help um, doing the guided meditation. I'm a veteran, not a war veteran. Uh, my wisdom about war comes, well, from thousands of past life regressions. And let me be very clear here. I am not on anybody's side. I'm not on the Russian side or the Ukrainian side. <clears throat> I'm on the side of the suffering humans and other beings, animals, you know, the nature spirits and Gaia and the future. Because every war seeds more suffering and the wars of the future. Recently, well, this was about a week ago by now, I had to uh, pick up uh, 10 Russian young men, um, disconnects, ghosts of Russian soldiers, that had attached to my Lithuanian female client. And then the next day, I had to help 10 Ukrainian ex-soldiers that had attached to my Russian client who lives somewhere in Norway, Sweden, and Finland areas. So the bottom line here is, if you die a violent death, you roam as a confused or angry disconnect, or a very dazed disconnect. Very few go to the heavens or higher dimensions. Uh, even today, I picked up a disconnect from my client whose main concern was to get his legs back. And this was from a battle 200 years ago. Maybe by the time that you are watching this video, um, there may be a half a million fresh ghosts from the Ukrainian war cruising the astral plains. You know, there will be a mix of civilians. Some of them got tortured. Many of them got crushed or partially crushed in collapsing buildings. And then there are, of course, soldiers from both sides. Uh, most of them probably were forced by circumstances. Some came due to anger, greed, or ideology. Many of their bodies got squandered in badly planned assaults, or worse, they were left to die in a ditch because they had a leg injury, but none of their comrades cared enough to put in the extra effort and risk to save them. A divine being wasted. Of course, many of them uh, were at the wrong place at the wrong time, you know, when that grenade hit. And then, of course, there are also lots of ghosts from Turkey and Syria from the recent earthquakes. Again, many got crushed or partially crushed in collapsing buildings. And for some, it took days to die. All these people have fathers and mothers. Some have wives and kids, you know, who will mourn and have a hard life. It's a broken heart. You may ask, why does an all-loving God allow these kind of atrocities? Uh, the short answer is we will, and experiencing duality of light and dark through karma. 
and in my experience with karma in past lifetimes. I may say that we reap as we sow, that the victims of today were the perpetrators of yesterday. So through the intense suffering of war, so-called innocent people may be burning karma for many lifetimes. Of course, you will have to look behind that curtain <laughs> through the lens of reincarnation to see that. And frankly, our karma is so complicated that ultimately, ultimately we need forgiveness and divine grace or mercy, you know, to get it all clear. It's um, pretty much like declaring bankruptcy. You know, got to body be sorry and you have to have insight. So, of course, please take everything I say with a grain of Himalayan sea salt. Uh, if my information resonates with you and passes your BS meter, um, please integrate this information into your latest working model of reality. So, there are lots of ghosts of those that got slaughtered in the Ukraine, or that died in Syria, in Turkey. There are also lots of dark energies being created by these humans in distress. And, of course, also in the nature spirit kingdom. Probably, you know, with the war, uh, more in the nature spirit kingdom than the animal kingdoms. And let me demonstrate my point. <coughs> Tuning folks. And um, <clears throat> so these frequencies created, they also resonate on the astral plane when they then affect our astral bodies. So it generally it takes five seconds and there's a sense of well-being. So um, you start resonating, you know, with these sounds. And these are rather subtle their nature, but still um, quite effective on the subtle body. You know, it, it's a feeling of well-being, fluidity, euphoria, maybe lightness. And these are just crude description of the phenomenon. Now, compare the effect of the tuning forks to being next to an artillery gun, or being in the tank you know, shooting off rounds, you know, or being on the wrong end, you know, of the, diplosic, of the explosive device, you know, getting shot at, you know, um, three meters or ten meters away, you know, grenade goes off, you know. I mean, you can see those shock waves, you know, in the videos. And so these shock waves, they also resonate on the astral planes. So that's the problem here. And just like those innocent little tuning forks, and uh, most likely they do. We'll just imagine what happens in the subtle bodies of those that are close to this explosion. Hmm? Well, metaphorically, you're castrating, you know, the male high self, you know, destroying your connection to the more subtle parts of yourself and also your female high self, you know, you may say. You know, your four more refined female high self is probably just laying on cloud number nine, you know, in a fetal position and sucking your thumb and bibbering like a blob of jello on a Mack truck. Right. So, that is, or has been called shell shock. But shell shock people, you know, we are only a shell of their former self. You know, shell shock is just one form of PTSD. And, you know, where your muscle body, I think, gets gutted. You know, but the fairy and nature spirit kingdoms, you know, that are just residing on the subtle plane, they surely get shell shocked. You know, this must be some kind of dynamite fishing for them. 
and let me explain dynamite fishing to you. So on top of that, you know, you have the grieving, broken hearts, you know, of mothers, fathers, you know, sweethearts, grannies, babies. And um, of those, you know, that were sent by their leaders, you know, into the meat grinders, you know. And their suffering is also for many years to come. And on top of it, it's a very expensive meat grinders, you know, we have to say. You know, but in the good old times, you know, was a well-placed arrow or spear, you know, or a strike, you know, cheap, you can recycle it, right? That has become, you know, a squandering of the wealth of people. You know, so the kicker is, folks, you know, all this destruction ain't cheap. You know, the Johnsons could have a brand new house, you know, with a swimming pool, you know, for every missile wasted. You know, but some you know, decided to invest in the dark side instead. So, you know, I, I've seen the widows, you know, that lost their husbands and son in World War II. Half of my father's side relatives died fleeing from the Russians, you know, through exhaustion, too much rape, or worked to death, you know, laying railroad tracks. So, you know, unless all this trauma is forgiven and cleared from this earth, how can there be peace and lasting happiness? So unless this trauma has been forgiven, how can there be peace and happiness? Unless there has been, this has been forgiven, you know, how can there be peace and happiness? So, this pain, you know, has a half-life, just like radioactive materials. You know, this half-life is what happens if you do not take care of whatever happened. You know, take responsibility for it you know, forgiveness, insight. I mean, it blew my mind um, that one ordinary marriage fight, you know, can stink up the atmosphere for six months without forgiveness. I mean, it can last a lifetime if you do it right, but, um, you know, so from my work experience, you know, I understand that, you know, dark events like lots of pain, you know, violence or fear, you know, create also, you know, dark portals in our reality, you know, through which hostile foreign energies and entities can affect us humans. So not only, you know, is that dark chi, this dark form, that can linger for a long time on the astral plane, you know, unless they're counteracted by forgiveness. But also, you know, this intensity of darkness, you know, creates, you know, something like a black hole, you know, through which um, energies can come through the dimensions. Now also, you know, around war, I mean, traditionally, and that's more for our ancestors, you know, and our own past lifetimes. So, but you have to understand, so rape and pillage, you know, was many times the reward and duty of every surviving soldier, you know, after a beleaguered city was taken. And, you know, oh boy, did those gods, did those soldiers, you know, get cursed, you know, by those that witnessed, you know, the raping and killing. You know, especially, you know, when they had some magical powers. They gave it all, you know, surviving or not surviving. You know? And also the ghost of those abused, you know, they tend to harass the perpetrators for lifetimes to come from the astral plane. And their damage, you know, the damage that they cause is significant. And Anybody that thinks that curses or negative thought forms do not have an effect, yet yeah, they're living in La La Land. I mean, so much of my work is just clearing these kind of things.
you know, that's one of the purpose of past life regression. It's not curiosity. Hmm, what happened? I mean, that is good, you know. And, um, let's say uh, past life regression for archaeology, you know, see what happened and curiosity. It's an awesome thing. But, you know, I go to where the trauma is, you know, to liberate this. So let's just uh, get into the meditation. Mm -hmm. So please just sit in a comfortable office chair and balance your body. Yeah. You know, so that everything stacks up nicely. You know, it's very difficult to enjoy bliss, you know, when your back hurts or when you're slumping. <laughs> you know, and uh, some of you, they can go into deeper layers, you know, when they are laying flat laying down and of course the danger is that you fall asleep when you get relaxed so um, for some people that is a great advantage they cannot fall asleep i have many clients that tell me they use my meditations to go fall asleep at night it relaxes them and then they pass out and you know um, you feel better after this so it's probably stronger when you be sitting up and you're very aware of it and you're gung-ho about it with your intent um, but um, just passing out and laying down um, is also good it's way better than not doing anything at all let me put it like that so you know when you lay down put one hand on your heart and another on the solar plexus and in that way you know you have a nice nourishing feeling personally i prefer when i sit you know the sufi grind uh, where I always kind of stay in touch with my spine and, you know, the energies, you know, can rise properly in me. And um, some of you, um, they may want to stay alert, you know, with their eyes open and use a pendulum, you know, to clear any of your trauma very systematically. Um, you know, that's a really powerful way of going about it too. And you can use earbuds, you know, or headphones um, to cancel out outside distractions. Definitely better sound quality. And definitely do not drive or operate, you know, uh, heavy machinery. Uh, you know, very important. This is going to space you out. And of course, you know, pay attention to what pops into your mind. You know? um, even if it does not make sense at the moment. Um, do not judge or rationalize or think how this is possible. You can always do that later on, after the meditation. So now, you know, make sure your eyes are closed. Smile, 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 smile. You know, we are addressing source, absolute source. Nobody, nobody, nothing above or beyond. So don't embarrass me here in front of source. So smile. And we asked, you know, that we connect to source, not imposters like Anunnaki or other intermediate beings, you know, that claim that they are your God. You know, mm -hmm. as we asked source to please surround us with this powerful protective aura of love and light on all dimensions and also on our parallel timelines. Now, Amen. And smile and it takes about five seconds to kick in mm -hmm. and breathe deeply mm -hmm. you can imagine breathing in the love of souls from all sides and then you send the love with your breath out your heart Smile, and now we also invite your high self and your inner child aspect to be part of this meditation and your spirit guides and your star tribes that are coming from unconditional love and also the higher dimensionals that are coming from unconditional love that support the human ascension. We also ask Gaia in her third, fourth and fifth dimensional aspect to be here and of course also Milky Way Galaxy. 
And you ask that everything that happens in and from this guided meditation is going to turn out for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. We also ask that there will be no deception affecting us. And we also ask that we do not compromise any military operational security. You know, this is for healing only. This is for healing only. You know, we're not going to attack anybody. Amen. Amen. Now smile like an idiot and imagine that you extend your spine and your legs deep into the earth just like roots of a big tree. But these roots are hollow like straws. And through those straws on the inhale you imagine pulling her love up into your heart. And then you send your love down on the exhale. Go back and forth. Smile and breathe with the speed that you can hear the air flowing through your nostrils. Back and forth, deep breathing. You breathe all the way in and all the way out. More new fresh energy in and that what you don't need to give back to the universe to be recycled. A charge up. Release the old. Charge up. Release the old. Via Source and Archangel Michael or anybody else who is qualified like Lord Shiva for those in the Hindu tradition to remove as much as possible any Anunnaki, Draco, Grey, you know, or other predatory cords, you know, or frequency screens, and also devices, you know, that are there to track us or to keep our vibration down. Please remove those from every level of our being. Now, for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes, Amen. Make really sure that you agree. And about now, you should feel the slight shift of energy. So keep on smiling, and as you pull up the love from the Earth Goddess, just imagine on the exhale that your heart expands like a rose or a lotus in your heart area. It's fluffier than those flowers. It's light and it moves. You smile and breathe. Feel your heart expanding. Mm -hmm. and increase the love vibration as much as you can. And now connect to the Milky Way galaxy. Imagine that you have a laser the size of your head coming out of your head, connecting to the center of Milky Way galaxy, this huge powerful being, host of millions and millions of other beings. Pull her love into your heart on the inhale. And on the exhale you send your love up to this powerful being. And smile, 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 smile. And again we ask that any resistances be cleared, you know, that prevent us from being uplifted by this intelligence. Um, um. 
open. And on the inhale and out. Inhale this beautiful light. Pull it all the way into your toes and heels like liquid light that dissolves any blocks or blobs or clouds of darkness. Now on the inhale, draw this liquid loving light into your heart. Dissolve any pain or darkness that you can detect there. Make sure you smile like an idiot. You know, that's your dial for love. The sweetness of your smile increases the sweetness of the love. The strength of your breath increases the quantity of the love. And from now on, uh, we speak, you know, for our own self our own past incarnations or our parallel incarnations and parallel timelines and also for our ancestors and our loved ones and of course also on behalf of humanity you know our way our influence you know is probably to varying degrees you know, um, probably for our own personal um, past lifetimes, you know, we can speak the most, and for humanity, maybe the least, but we like to have it applied, whatever it is. Amen, amen, amen. And in this meditation, we will also request a healing and liberation for all of our own personal incarnational history, you know, benefiting ourselves, and then also all the disconnect traumatized humans that are still stuck from the Ukrainian wars. Here we benefit all, including Gaia. Amen, amen, amen. And again, of course, you can use this meditation to clear trauma from civil war or any other war or any other earthquakes. And of course, in the Ukraine, um, wars have been fought in these areas from time immemorial. And it is time that we give all the divine beings that are willing to help a mission to clear this mess up. You know, to clear up the ghosts, the curses, the dark portals, the dark beings. So we are voting and giving permission, so to say. So please, dear heavenly ascendant teams of love and light, Please collect and escort the falling victims of war to the most divine love, healing, and ascension temples. Um, you know, there are many whose life got squandered. They're traumatized around this. Pick those up. And then also the ones used as human shields. In a very horrible way to die. What a waste. And, oh my God, many bodies were defiled. You know, treated in very bad ways. You know, which also affects the soul. Please pick those up too. Those ghosts. And for many, the body was mutilated. Please reunite body parts then help those beings to also move on. Mm -hmm. And then also pick up those that are traumatized from being buried alive, collapsing building, mass graves, or, or, or torture, you know, ditches, whatever it was. Amen, amen, amen. You just agree for that. Mm -hmm. We also give these beings permission to pick up all the ghosts that are traumatized from being burned alive. Mm -hmm. And then those that didn't move on for the guilt of killing. 
help those two please to move on. Amen. And then also help those that carry guilt for killing the innocent. Amen. And then help those also to move on that have guilt for not saving others. Um, please assist those that are still suffering from survival's guilt. Amen. Um, Please help those that have guilt for failed missions. Um, just keep smiling, keep pumping love. Make sure you smile. Mm -hmm. A lot of negative emotions can come up, but if you smile, they cannot attach to you. So please keep smiling. Mm -hmm. And we ask, to help those that have guilt for leaving behind comrades, platoons and armies. Um, now also please help those that have guilt around broken promises. You know, like guilt for not returning to loved ones because you're dead, you know, I will come back, baby, yes, I will take care of you, you know, and then bang, they're dead, and they feel guilty. Please help those two. Amen. And this is probably more for past life wars, you know, they asked that those that carry guilt for not returning to loved ones because they had taken another. This happened also quite a lot. And I'd like to have those help too. Um, keep on smiling. And we also ask that those be helped and have pain and heartbreak, you know, due to their loved ones, you know, getting lost or not returning from home. Amen. And some of them may be even stuck because they're carrying guilt because somebody died to save them. So we ask that they be reunited with those and then brought home and helped on. Amen. And then there are those that are guilty of torture. You know, sometimes the life of your bodies depends on the information that you can get. And, you know, they did whatever they had to, to get that information. And of course, it's not a good way of doing things. And, but if you're very guilty, we like to have them also help, send. Um, and of course we ask that the trauma, the tortured, traumatic, traumatized victims be also helped. Amen. 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 And we also ask now that those that got raped be helped. Maybe perpetrators have to be brought to the courts of divine justice so the rape victims can forgive. Amen. And some of those that maybe got tortured or caught were forced to betray their own people. We like to have those also helped. Amen. And 
then there are lots of them that get dismembered, you know, through bombs, through explosions, or, you know, legs or other parts were amputated. We asked that they be reunited with their body parts, that their bodies be reassembled, and then we asked that they helped into the heavens. Amen. 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 And uh, many in old wars, you know, many victims got brought into slavery or just abducted. And so we asked that any lost family members please be reunited. Amen, amen, amen. Then a whole slew probably died in imprisonment and in dungeons. Or in work camps, we like to have those also help now, you know, and also I need curses cleared on them. Um, um, um. Many soldiers and victims of war also got sacrificed for different purposes. You know, the Gauls used to do so, you know, to gain favors you know, for the gods, for battle, etc. So we like to have those also assisted now. Um, um, um. Now in many wars, and this is more for our ancestors and our own past lifetimes, um, bone, magic, you know, or spell magic was done to the depths or soul trapping magic was done. Or karma dumping magic was done. Or even headhunter magic was done. I do not want to explain how this is being done, but we ask that this please be clear. Whether we or our ancestor did it, or it was done to us and our ancestors. Please clear this and liberate this being stuck around this. Um, and, um, and, um. And now there are probably many also that lost faith into humanity. After seeing the horrors of war, they're kind of crazy on the astral plane. Please help those. And some also lost faith in God after seeing the horrors of war. Please send them help too to make them understand about karma. And then many also, you know, cursed and separated from God, you know, after seeing the horrors of war. We asked it to also be sent help for insight. Now this is more for our own past lifetimes too, but we also asked that any cords or portals from Alpha Dokunian and other mystical weapons be cleared. Amen, Amen, Amen. And was ever, you know, stuck on the astral plane, you know, with suicide programming for operational security. We like to have those programs cleared from all aspects of our soul. Amen, amen, amen. Also clear any self-sacrifice programmings. Amen. And please, please, please clear any trauma from wounds and poisons throughout the timelines. Amen. O 
also clear any vows to serve one master and to self-sacrifice, you know, forever and ever and ever. Mm -hmm. Amen. And of course, so many of us have been cursed by enemy soldiers or we have cursed enemy soldiers. We would like to have those energies clear too. Um, um, and also the enemies on our side also had magicians that were casting war curses. We like to have those clear too. Um, 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 And then we'd also like to have any curses, you know, from local populations that lost loved ones, you know, and property during war or due to war. We like to have those cleared so they're not keep lingering. Um, um, um. We also ask that those that are still stuck because they are affected by the revenge of the ancestors, you know, from killed soldiers and civilians. We like to have that help too. Um, um, um. Clear any magically enchanted weapons that are still affecting her. Um. Clear any black magic implants from weapons or torture. Amen. Then please help to liberate um, nature beings that are still persecuting us. You know, because we or our ancestors offended them through their warfare, through our warfare. Amen. We also ask that to please clear any war propaganda that is still influencing us you know, from our past lifetimes and also our ancestors. Please, you know, clear the war propaganda from all the beings that are involved so they can see the truth, and not the illusion. Amen. Very important. We also give permission to clear our own inner wars between fractions of ourselves or between family members. Please help us with forgiveness on all the levels of our being. Amen. Also, please clear our own war karma and tendency. Amen. And please also clear and bring to harmony and synergy all internal conflicts that will or would manifest as external wars. Amen. Also, please clear any outdated and excessive manipulations of our mammalian and reptilian DNA regarding territory to facilitate a global culture of peace and love. Amen. And now we ask for the presence of expert ascension teams that act for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. Please 
bring any stuck spirits or ghosts that are still stuck through war trauma or earthquake trauma to the Artuian Ascension Temples. Please reunite them with lost loved ones that are still stuck on the astral plane, like lost baby spirits, sweethearts, etc. Amen. Please show them the higher as well as hidden aspects of their incarnation. What was karma, what was volunteered for, to learn a lesson, and what was sabotaged on the dark side. Amen. Please clear any misunderstandings and then help with forgiveness. And once they're forgiven, asked for forgiveness, we ask Absolute Source to please clear any entanglement that still binds them like vows, contracts, promises, curses, candle magic, black magic, any forms of bindings, bombs, booby traps, claws, hooks, cords, chains, and everything else that was not mentioned, but needs to leave our space at this time. And then we ask their ancestors that made it into the real higher dimensions to escort them home. Amen. And now we command in the name of the Absolute Source to clear any karmas, entanglements, cages, pain, cords, spells, contracts, glamour, bindings, promises, debts. Also please clear any artificial manipulation and predatory magic, technology, energy and entities that are transferring dark energies to us for their own advantage. Also, with your grace and mercy, clear anything else that has not been mentioned, but that needs to be removed at this time. Amen. And I am a sovereign, divine, eternal being, a fractal of source that is residing in a human body at this time. Please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental and spiritual trauma that is still with me to healing energy and repair meridians and other energy systems on all levels of our beings like chakras, nadis, etc. Also clear any dark backup programming and backup programming from those and so on and upgrade us to our divine blueprint as much as possible now. Amen. Also, optimize, harmonize and strengthen our aura and our magnetic fields. Amen. And we command in the name of the Absolute Source to liberate and return stolen or captured parts of our soul, of our energy and of our mind now. Amen. So the old patriarchal system is dying now and we now call in on the woman warriors of the heart to come forward as promoters of love and peace. Amen. Please agree and smile. And we ask that the patriotic war programs be cleared now. Amen. We asked Archangel Gabriel you know, to facilitate, bring out the message 
that the women and mothers work together for peace and harmony with all things divine. After all, you know, 50% of the human population are females. So please, you know, we unite them now. Amen. And we call in the teams of the highest divine light of our own soul, all helpers, guides, angels, archangels, star races, star council, and galactic councils. We ask in the name of our creator aspect as a human being and for the benefit of Gaia. Please shower the Ukrainian, Turkish, and Syrian territories, you know, or whoever needs it now, with divine love and nourishment. Keep clearing the pain, the fear, the horror, guilt, and all the other dark emotions and replace them with love and forgiveness. Please shine your light into the deepest despair and darkness where it is needed the most. Amen. Especially clear any contaminated ley lines and ley line nodal points. Amen. Clear any dark portals there. Clear demons and stuck entities. Bring them where they are supposed to be. Remove or neutralize any programmed devices like sigils, runes, talismans, crystals, and other dark technologies that were designed to broadcast darkness or to block or contaminate light. Amen. Keep smiling and send love, deep breathing. We ask the divine beings to please charge up their ley lines and their nodal points with love and light. Please bless the ley lines and power spots with divine geometry that keeps away the darkness. And bring the dark beings that are instigating these wars for profit or other nefarious reasons to the courts of divine justice and make the hidden ways known to the public. Amen, amen, amen. Make sure you agree to that. And now, um, we thank all those beings that came and helped. And I will count to three, and you will be back in vacant day consciousness, unless you wanted to stay asleep. Mm -hmm. In that case, we ask that you have wonderful, uplifting dreams that guide you in your life. Amen. One, two, three, and you're fully back in vacant day consciousness again. Well, we come back. Yeah, it's... um. You know, a difficult meditation. You know, there's a lot of pain around these issues and it triggers a lot of pain from our own you no know, war experience and from past lifetimes. Yes. So this is a chance to process this. You know, the old garbage has to be released and let go of, you know, before the new and the better can be brought in. So that's important. You know, you may do this this meditation on a quite a regular basis. You know, because everybody, you know, is affected by war trauma, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, of course, you know, this is a shotgun meditation and will not necessarily ascend all of your own ghosts and traumas. Mm -hmm. And much of the time, you know, it will work more like regular pills or teas. <laughs> and many issues have to be locked up in greater detail before they can be released. And, um, you know, there's always a lesson or insight you know, needed before trauma can be transmitted. So, you know, you can treat yourself to a private Skype session, you know, or cut right to the chase. My prices are very reasonable. I'll just go to my website or send me an email. Um, definitely, if you 
um, enjoy these um, guided meditations, you know, look at the other ones, you know, they'll cover any field that needs to be cleared. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, give me a thumbs up, tell your friends, leave comments, you know, this is your community. <laughs> And I love you. Namaste.